Hi, my name is John Coder, and I'm a math consultant with Faith Christian Academy in Arvada, Colorado. Today we're going to take a look at how to find the range of a polynomial function. Remember that a polynomial function is a collection of terms added or subtracted together with exponents that are all integers. For example, we're going to take a look at the function f of x equals x squared plus 2. In order to graph this function, I first created an xy table. I selected values for the input, which is x, as negative 2 through 2, and the output for y depends upon what the value of x is. Now the collection of x values is called the domain, and the collection of the y values is called the range. When I graph these points, I, am, I create a parabola which is opening upward. And notice the vertex of the parabola is at the point 0, 2. So if I take a close look at this graph and I think to myself, what values could y be? Well, there's no values for y that's dropping downward. All of the points for y is upward. So the minimum value for y would be 2 in everything above that value. So what I would say is that the range are all values where y is greater than or equal to 2. My name is John Coder. I'm a math consultant with Faith Christian Academy in Arvada, Colorado. And we just found out how to find the range of a polynomial function.